Good afternoon, welcome to Man in Motor. Um, obviously today I'm gonna take off the rocker cover because it's leaking. Obviously I've done a bit of work already. It was because uh, originally it came in for a service, but obviously I found some problems. So I'm just gonna remove the stuff that I've already taken off. This scuttle panel here has to come off. So we get a bit more room. So we're gonna take all these covers off. Obviously I've taken the spark plugs once stuck in there, the coil pack. So hopefully when I take the rocker cover off, it comes off a bit. It's just seized in there. And uh, we'll take that off. So first of all, we're gonna take all these wiring loom off for the coil packs and inject the pipes across you got all the T torques around and uh, hopefully goes all to plan let's go for it so we're going to take this uh, live cable out let's move this all out of the way tend to put the screws back where it is because they're very small so it can get lost and then it's hard to find, find the screws. position to show exactly how to do this so bear with me
So I've taken all the tips off from here and the screws. So now I'm going to take this off. But Torx. This is one and two there. So the, I'm going to use a E11. I don't know if it focus. Focus is not the best on my phone. There you go. Uh, it's E11 Torx. This goes on there. So now I'm going to do the injector pipes. You have to be careful with these. So you've got the 14 mil at the top and you've got 13 at the bottom. So you use two spanners to unhold roughly here. Hold the injector. 14 here and you just crack it off like that slowly one by one once you crack it you're gonna get a little bit of fuel coming out of the injector so don't worry about it just get a bit of rag and it should be fine so I've loosened all of them off so it's free uh, put a bit of tissue there so there's a fuel a little bit of fuel in the rail so now I'm gonna take this one off common rail part and you got a CU13 over there and so we know 13 on that side this whole lot will come out let's do it so, so you got one one uh, 12 mil there number one here so you got around four holding this rail we're gonna take off so as you see it's free to all off now it's ready to come off some cables in the way. It's free now. Be careful, put this down. You don't want to bend. And that. Okay, now we're free from that. So now we're going to take the E17 Torx all the way around free everything off let's go got these 10 mils it's quite deep as you can see it so you need a very deep socket um, I think this one will just about grip it it shouldn't be that tight it's three of them I'm gonna take them off as you see I taken these uh, screws out from here the bolts is three of them see how long they are and the 10 mil sits just there, uh, see the 10 mil. So it's, you need a very deep socket to get to that. It just about grip it on top as well. So just to remind you, if you're ever doing this, you need a very deep, deep 10 mil socket. Even if you can get deeper than that, that's very good. But that's the deepest one I got. So just about done it. Thank God. So basically, I've taken everything around the rocket cover, but this coil pack is stopping me from taking out and it's bloody jam I put WD-4 and everything is just not coming out but I'm just scared I don't want it to break inside because if it does then that's a world of bother so I'm just lubing it twisting it lubing it twisting it and hopefully it comes off because I take everything around it all off all the wiring loom the fuel lines everything's all off but it's just a matter of that spark plug needs to come out so hopefully you can get that done here we go so now move all this key out of the way. Just be careful. Let's go out.
because it's convertible it's got the cost members over here obviously the non convertibles don't have that so I'm going to do that just pry it off a little bit Damn, bro uh, managed to get it off god I mean, it was a nightmare as you can look this is the old coil pack it's intact but obviously the head's all knackered see the rubber it's just stuck on so alhamdulillah it didn't break hard if it broke here then we've got a problem otherwise it'll get stuck see this the sleeve some of the sleeves come out come out of it some hasn't so the sleeve is stuck on there but I'm not gonna play around with that too much. I'm just gonna lube it all up before I put it in. So next time, whoever takes it out will be good. But so the culprit is it's leaking at the back. So you see that rubber here is solid hard. So obviously the, the the oil has been seeping into the spark plug. Even in the back of it, I'm noticed there's oil leak. So it's all gone rock hard. So that could be cause of oil leaks. So happy days. Get two jobs done in one. So got it off. So the rubber cover, as you see, is breaking up in pieces. So you have to make sure it doesn't go into the engine. So you have to be careful taking this cover, uh, the rubber off, because it's hardened. It's breaking all in pieces. So you don't want to go go into the valves. So slowly, slowly, just take your time, and then you can take it off. So here's a rocker cover gasket. I took all the covers, all the pieces off. It's rock hard. Some bits are alright, but some bits are just rock hard. And where where is rock hard? That's where it leaks. So yeah, it's it's a 2007 model, so it's pretty old now. So it's given away. So here it is. Now we need to clean the rocker cover off, put new gasket, and repeat the process in reverse. So guys, uh, now taking the cover off, uh, you know, clean all the surface, so all that, still got the old rubber sitting around, so I'm going to clean all that surface, just make sure nothing else is obstructing or loose, so I'm just going to double check everything. So the new gasket's on the new, to clean the rocker cover off as well. And the new gasket's on, so ready to put back on. Just make sure all the screws are intact, none are missing. These ones are separate, and uh, those ones are separate, so they go on afterwards. So let's get it on. As you can see, we're in now, it's sitting nicely. There. So let's just screw that in, so let's sit in. Make sure all sits in the screw hole. Just loosen this out of the way. So it does a hit that when it goes in flush. Took the bar out. Just loosen the bar. Just put a socket just to lift it up to put it inside. So it's all sitting nicely. Now we're gonna screw it all back on. So there's a way to put these bolts in. The rocker cover bolts. So you don't want there's 26 of them. So you have to do it in order. Um, you can go on the website or you know just type in rocker cover fitting it gives you all the information there how to put it in order so there's 26 bolts of them and you start from the two outer ones and you work your way inwards then back out around so I bolted down all the bolts 26 of them but it's better just to go around them uh, just make sure you haven't left any loose, especially the ones at the back. There's a one, two, three, four. So let's roll, see if I can get it in there. See the light. Uh, yeah, see that this one there. This one there, see it? It's there. And there's another one there as well. So there's like four. So just make sure you don't miss them out. And especially in the middle, it can be missed because there's 26 of them and he can miss one out by accident so just go around it doesn't matter to be it doesn't have to be in order now because i've done them in order so just go around outside and the inside and you can't miss it so i'm just gonna go around and do that quick so the manufacturer specification is uh, 8.5 newton meters torque so it's not a lot of uh tight tightness on the 
bolts because it's plastic cover so it shouldn't be so tight so it's 8.5 newton meters on the bolts so now I'm gonna put these long screw, uh, bolts back remember I showed you it goes right in here it's three of them so I'm just gonna screw them back in it's, it's hand tight Just be careful of these uh, nuts because they come loose and you don't want to lose them. So I get them in. It's three of them. Go. So now I'm just gonna screw them in by ratchet. So now I'm gonna put the injector pipes and the common rail back in. So always make sure. This goes in back in that. See that? Should go into that groove. Should sit nicely like that. The screws going down there, so I'm just gonna wind it in, not too tight. Screw them by four bolts in. Screw them in, then tighten them bolts up at the end. Let's go for it. So here I'm gonna put the injectors back on. I'm gonna be at 325 newton meters. Thirteen at the bottom and thirteen, uh, fourteen at the back. So just have to make them up. Hand tight. Have to do it hand tight first. And then do it up slow. And then you want to make sure about it because this is fuel goes through that. So make sure it's tight enough. Just hold it. That's it. Not too tight. You don't want to bend the pipe. Around 25 newton meters is not a lot of them. So you must be thinking there's a lot of wires here, uh, how do I connect it? It's quite easy because if you just put it back where it is, you know exactly where it goes, like this connection will go here, this will go here, this will go here, so it just falls back to its spot, even here as well. It will just fall back to where it is, so it's not going to go anywhere, so it's pretty easy. So I screwed the harness back in. See, you can't go wrong, look, you've got the connector there, you've got the earth there, connect 
six of them connectors they all fall in line so you can't really get them wrong they got the earths there so make sure you nip them up not too tight they're only small eight mils so now i'm going to go ahead and put the spark plugs in then the coil packs even here as well can't get it wrong it was a connector here connector there and there's the common rail connector there so it all fall in line and it's connected here so you can't really get it on uh wrong sorry it's uh all nipped up so let's get the spark plugs in brand new spark plugs are here six of them six cylinder engine straight six so we can get them all in now okay the spark plugs are all in let's, let's do it by hand tight first so once you let's get that tight let's, oh, turn that so that's all these I don't need that too tight so next time is snapping the spark plug in the head. So it's best hand tight. That's it. Half, even not in the half a turn, it's quarter a turn, that's it. So now we've got the coil pack. Well, I've started it up, uh, running. Do the priming of the ignition, a couple of cycles, and it just fired up. Checking for leaks, especially by the fuel area, there's no leaks. Dry. Common rail, dry. Lock the cover. That is all good. There you go. The job done. we have got to build it all back together and it's a uh, cover job is done. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Hope this helps. And uh, please like the video and do share. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching this video. Bye bye.